Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not that's not Twitch where you wear the nips at, right? Look, so we got Fnatic taking on Team Liquid. I've been looking forward to this all damn day. Yeah. I think this could be one of the matchups of the tournament right here. Pistol oh round goodness. and Elysia's knives out, mate. Up in their faces. Graham, it's getting ugly, but he's trying his best to hold on. And it's all left to Jaquino. Taped on that first peak to put in the grave. It's going to be Team Liquid finding the pistol. Oh, Elysia's playing on hard mode, mate. He even takes the Glock, does the 99 damage dink. He went for some knife kills in Hut. But luckily, the kill was stolen out from under him. The fast A play for Fnatic. It comes close, but we know how good Grim really is at anchoring down the back of this A bomb site. Doesn't matter what you give it. Rifle, pistol, he will do the work. And Liquid will lock in the first round of the map. Of course, it is Fnatic's pick as well. And we won't wait around long. We got a force by right in Fnatic. They don't even get a bomb pod, and they don't hesitate for a moment. Ali trying to take some space outside. He's going to meet Brolin behind the smoke. He's waiting for the footsteps to pass him by. Messi's right uh, as the last man going through. Ali waits just for the right time to strike and drops the bomb out of the open, looking for more. Ali doubles up and then he disappears. Oh my God, he's going back through. Ali, an unquenchable thirst outside, and he's still hungry for more. Jaquinho and Crims, they're very far apart here, left wondering where this went oh so wrong. And they're even getting wrapped in through lobby as well. It's a rough old time to be Jaquinho right now. He's wrapped from two positions at once, and so he's gone. It's all eyes on Crims now. Yeah, a lot of players would have mess, uh, messed up that play that Elise just went for, right? The first two guys ran past, he heard them, and he almost went through, but that's when you hear Messi coming in a little late. I put, perhaps just throwing the, uh, the truck smoke to, to get those cross smokes outside, and it's unfortunate he has the bomb there. As, you know, Fnatic had to go back, they had to fight Elise. They had no choice. And so Crims with the Deeg armor, waiting back in the lobby. Liquid have already cleared this one out. They've sat on the bomb. And Crims is going to need to hit some bangers. I wouldn't imagine this <laughs> This could be his round. A couple of kills would be nice for damage, but Liquid double face dink and devastate this force by. It's a 2 0. It's a clean one at that. And now we have the full Glocks for Fnatic. Yeah, this should be the least spectacular round out of the bunch. Team Liquid looking for that 3-0 and with the conversions going their way. And hell, man, they just kept that, that you know, anti-force by extremely clean. So now they're, they're on that run to really, you know, build up an early CT side economy on here, uh, on Nuke here. There we go. Little ramp rush, perhaps. Now Flight, he loves these. He loves it when you give him these. He really wants to just pad these stats. Fallen here, stripping some from the rank of Fnatic. And they're trying to pressure him, but Fallen knows better than to hang around. He's still just getting away with scout tags, left and right. Bombs crossed Finally. as well. Oh! Fallen quick with the scout, and you hope no. for a plant, but he's not going to get away with it. And Liege already down on B, puts a stop to that. It's a nice idea for Fnatic, right? Just trying to throw as many players into hell, cause commotion while that bomb is actually slipping. Like hoping for the plant, but it's denied by a Liege, who's just one step ahead, it feels like. Yeah, he could have got a safe plant in there, could have maybe got it behind the silo, because the vent player went straight to ramp, but it didn't really matter. Fnatic can buy up nonetheless. They've got everything they need except the open. You're not in a rush to bring that out on this T side anyway. Wait to see when Liquid have theirs. And so they do, fall with a few frags at the bottom of Hell, has brought his into the first gun round, playing it towards main. Watching that outside cross. Meanwhile, Leech has already got Secret under control. Fallen, watching the smokes. They might actually bypass him. He's backed up to heaven. Yeah, his position kind of negated by the fact that Leech has cleared these smokes. As now, Fnatic split into the A side. Brolin, so wide that the teammates flash. Dewey lives so long, and then not at all. Quickly traded after one. Jaquino doesn't realize Grimm's right below him. And Liquid are flowing right now. They're feeling it, taking fights on all fronts. And even... Got to say, that was a really quick main split as well. You were there within seconds, so, you know. Well, mate, one of the things we were saying, you know, coming into this was how it felt like, you know, we haven't really seen Liquid tested just yet. Yeah. You know, like, not, not, not properly, not playoff level tested. We were hoping that Fnatic were going to be the ones to do that. But this is a very convincing start for Team Liquid. And I really like what we're getting out of them already. That confidence from early in the group feels like it's back. Look at Elise, <laughs> baby! Nades him out with the wow. uh, with the bomb. Denies the plant. 
And now just looking to walk it over the line. Crims has made it as interesting as he can, but it ends up being nothing more than a parting gift onto Grim. Oh, that's clean from Alex. That's clean indeed. And that's now an AK retrieved as well. Maybe he can get tricky with it after all. He's going to look for something here. On plant damage, any of this goes to furthering your cause if you're fanatic. And right now, Team Liquid are pretty respectful still with everyone over towards this upper site. Yeah, I don't think Alex is expecting this much room either, right? He's thinking they're coming for him or at least playing someone down lower. Liquid are just holding to see if he overcomplicates it. They'll play retake as a unit once necessary. There's the ramp player moving in though. Naf wants to get involved, and now they've got a bit of info. They come down the vent as well. This is a great position for Stewie. Alex no longer got the bomb under his control. Stewie, though, holding the right angle. Alex is coming in through the vent. There's the first. 29 health. He doubles back. Naf moves in and fallen nowhere to be seen. Yeah, Naf needs this, mate, or else fallen. Gonna be left in the one on one with Alex tapping out Naf over at ramp. This responsibility is gonna fall to Fallen after all. He's back in through ramp as well, armed with the orb, but Alex has been clean with this AK and he's not gonna fight him straight up. Molly off to default, does not force the reposition. Alex moved ahead of time. Fallen, scoped oh. up, nails the shot and puts a stop to Alex's clutch attempt. It's a damn good try from Alex. You couldn't have hoped or asked for more. Considering, you know, that was the, the four on one, right? No one was really envisioning a world where that gets out of hand, especially not Team Liquid. And suddenly you're thrown into a 1v1, but Fallen keeps his cool. And just like that, the flawless scoreline is maintained for Team Liquid. Yeah, I like how you know, Alex does make a, that, that as, as close as he can. He gives it everything he was able to, but yeah, this nade was nuts as well for Elise. So much damage onto Giacchino. Bled everything he could out of that round. Liquid almost regretting those 1v1s. That Molly as well for Fallen gave him a lot of info. He knew Alex couldn't have crossed back into Decon. He had to be blue box, so... Eventually, just waiting for the peak. Now Fallen's up and over on the garage. We've got Elige again playing aggressive outside and Fallen falls after once. Good shot, they line up and Elige bites down. Three oh, kills, oh, oh, all oh. headshots off the spray. And it's back to Crimson in the lobby. So many rounds have come down to this for Fnatic. Just this lone man left in lobby. Just trying to win a 1v1, and they are ready for it. Grimm's not falling for that again, and this is a clean old start for Team Liquid. This is bearing a lot of resemblances from behind red, so this yeah. is a really, really nice little outside hold, very dynamic between Elise and Fallen, but the way they're playing off of each other is making outside feel off limits to Fnatic right now. Yeah, they're going to go back to it, though. Absolutely no fear. Elise 12 and 1, that smoke has missed on the main roof. Might have been mollied out by Liquid even. Although Elige still has his, so potentially just a miss smoke for Fnatic. They'll replenish it quickly. Elige just trying to find a gap, trying to find a way to exploit these smokes against Fnatic, and he almost catches the timing. But instead, it's Stewie flashing him into the garage. Elige back turn. In he goes, but they're ready for it. Second player was anti. Mezzi's going to take that kill and run boost his teammate to the other side of garage, avoiding a potential fallen orb in heaven. It's a consistent position. We know him in, but instead, it's Stewie spotted out and pushed back. So he drops into the site instead. Oh, Graham again catches that lurk that is deemed worthless in these T rounds so far. Yeah, Fnatic so, do have lower, but Naf's already here. There, there is a bit of weirdness here. It's really, really common. You know, if you lose outside to, to take lobby, and Fnatic know this as well, they've left the bomb out in T spawn. So Scary. even though they've sent Chiquinho back, He's kind of sweating right now. He knows that the odds are, with outside taken, these CTs are going to be pushed up in the lobby. They're going to be right next to him. So he's very, very paranoid and having to take a long time at getting this bomb back. Finally gets far enough away from the lobby to just start legging it. And with Messi already set up in the vent, you are going to slow down the rotation. Oh. A lot of this round now falls onto Fallen and Naf and what they're able to get away with down in this B site. Because these rotations are going to be hard pressed to come in. Naf fly oh. quiet so far, goes one for one, but with Fallen tapped out at ramp, this might be Fnatic finding their first after all. Oh, Liquid don't want to give it up. They want to keep it clean. They want to keep it flawless. But Messi won't let them do it. Three kills in the round and a fourth around the corner. Stewie, no 2K today. It's Messi with the four frags to find Fnatic their first. And uh, doesn't that feel good to say? 
finally on the board. Liquid, though, still plenty of money to rebuy. And, you know, that's a good setup for Liquid, man. They had Nav B from the get-go once that outside control came through. See the smokes come in. Fallen moves back to Ramp to support that position. Like you said, the lobby clear gave Liquid all the info. They were only playing for the Heaven Ramp or the drop to B, and it was the latter. Even with two players on lower, Messi taps out Fallen. And Fnatic on the board. Yeah, I mean, you know, if you want to look at your big names for Fnatic, Messi's definitely up there. You know, I think it's Messi and Brolin are really the two I'm going to look towards. I yeah. also think Chiquinho just needs to hold his own. You don't need anything spectacular out of him in this matchup. You just can't afford to have, you know, what we had on the on the debut yeah. game for Fnatic. However, you know, he hasn't really looked like that since, so I'm not going to harp on it too much. Exactly. Naf over here playing the uh, the orange box. Many of people's first Steam game. It had Team Fortress in it. All the classics. Chiquinho, was he a big fan? Well, he's not going to get given anything here. Naf is playing ramp nice and safe right now. And oh, he's going wider. They want to try and take this peak again. Oh, it's a team one. The double face. Lovely trade from Crims. Chiquinho may die, but he set his team up for the round. Roland trying to take control down on low. He's crossed through secret. Lee just trapped between a volley and a man. And it's going to be the man to come out on top. Stewie trades from down the vent. And that keeps Liquid up by one for now. Yeah, Krim's trying to hold the line, but the flash oh. is good and Fallen <laughs> will run him down. Messi, all eyes on him again. One on three this time for the lad. And he's going to get himself up here onto the rafters, looking at window and two players about to come his way. Messi clean with the headshots as always. Oh, no. double up. But it's the double swing from Grim and Stewie2K that seals his fate. The round is Team Liquids. The AWP saved forward as well. Seventh now on the board. You couldn't have asked for more out of Messi there. He really does give it his all. But Team Liquid play that to perfection, right? They throw the first man in. They get the info where Messi is. And once they know where he is, they play it together. They swing in tandem, much like that double peak yeah. that opens the round that was, for Fnatic. That was crazy, by the way. I just want to say, like, that was absolutely crazy. Just because you don't see that round play, what a read that he's at bottom orange and he's not like orping hell or playing on the headshot box and just going to peek you while you stare at the ground and set up. Good read out of Fnatic, but better round out of Liquid. And you're getting not only the fast fallen headshot orb, but you're getting a lead dominating and Grim's even starting to you know, peel into this game as well, winning all his A fights right now and retaking that round. Nah, finally getting aggressive. He's had enough of getting one for one on the ramp room. He's going to take radio. It's a good bit of info, and it means he can quick flank on this A attack. He could even cut off the bomb late. It's in the hands of Chiquinho. Naf is activating. There's the A play. Crims having a rough time right about now, and Naf stabs him in the back. He won't stop the bomb. The A site has crumbled for Fnatic, and they're trapped but behind the smokes inside of the lobby. They know the only route open is ramp, but for how long is the question? Yeah, that's the issue, right? You saw two of these players in heaven, and you're going, wow, look, we just saw all four of them A, but they could have easily retaken this ramp here. Area. They're still going to look to move in right, after seeing everyone on this upper site. Yeah, Liquid, this is what Liquid did before, right? When they knew Alex was lower, they just play for A. They just play for top and they, they react. They know they have the advantage to retake as a unit and they wait for the kills to come to them. It does as he dies walking Hell's side. And now Chikino, second he plants, everyone's running down vent. It's a fake as well and there's no one here. He's now lost the room to plant. If he goes back for it, they might just face him straight up. Yeah, they're running him down. No room. Chiquinho does what he can. But, you know, whenever they get you into these clutches, Liquid are very, very keen to fight it. They remind me of, you know... <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone's taking it well. You know, getting, off the, uh, getting off the bomb just to spam the body. Yeah, Grim is learning the Liquid way, I see. Oh. Excellent, Grim. Excellent. Yes, let Your the hate flow through you. Along nicely. <laughs> Yeah, we'll make a Sith Lord out of him, yeah. This is great for Liquid, because I just, again, want to reiterate that point. Like, you know, yeah, the, a debut for Liquid in the group is against Nip, and they trounce them, they destroy them, and you're wondering, oh, Liquid are coming in hot, that looks good. Yeah, they take Gambit to their knees, they can't close the series, though, to come back on Mirage. And then all the other teams, you can, it's to a degree, write off Team 1 in Tropic Fury with a coach. Like, you can give caveats there and say, yeah, Liquid should have won those games, and they did. Fnatic, they already proved a lot in their group, in the hardest group, making it out. So, you know, no more questions on Liquid from what we're seeing right now. This is a team here to play, here to stay, and here to come for the trophy. 8-1 up, retakes galore, more outside smokes for Fnatic. You know they're scared of Elige outside as well. It's often been Naf back in this position. But right now, Elige is continuing to look for gaps to exploit. They're going to walk 
behind the smokes again. Fallen picked one up, throw it, and Stewie ready to go. They're going to come to a lead, though, first and foremost. Looking to trade. They line up with a player with their back turned on the fade. A leech gets both. And how fanatic two on five. You've got lower. Liquid will give you that. But as we've seen, the second you get that bomb down, they're all coming. Mate, uh, and you know, you just touched upon it there, right? Yeah, we did often see Naf being that outside guy in old iterations of Liquid. Even, you know, when you had Fallen first bought into this team, he would be the guy playing over towards Garage. A lot of the times with the Org, like we're seeing Elise doing there. Very interesting to see that switch up, and it's working wonders for Elise, mate. He's having a whale of a time. Yeah. Naf's not enjoying it so much over towards Ramp. <laughs> Ramp is a horrible position. We'll leave it at that. Crims has pushed up to try and hold on to this Ramp control. A lot of this round hinging on how much Crims can okay. get away with. And with him finding two out of three, even attempting to fake Flash Fallen, they've got him boxed in. <laughs> He's losing real estate in the sight, and Fallen will knock him out of the round. Mate. Fallen, like that's Dude, Fallen he is like the some... anti-clutcher. Yeah. That, that's how I look at this guy. Like yeah. he, he's, when he's still alive and someone's trying to clutch against him, I, I feel so calm whenever I see Fallen still standing. Those are some wide peaks for Crims as well. That really should, like this one should be forcing the shot. Fallen's got nerves of steel to hold on for that long. He knows if he dies, the round could be over from that kill alone. You've got Crims, you've got giving him an AWP if he wants to get weird. He's got an open bomb plant, plus both sides of ramp to peek from. That's a big kill from Fallen after Crims doubles up. And it feels a shame to see Crims slow starting. Like He's not really had positions where he can have impact, right? They've either been A-rushing or he's been left in lobby on these outside plays that have been getting diced up by a lead. And so to see Crims have a bit of impact, it's nice, but it falls on dead ears and Fallen starts strong yet again, taking down Mezzi off the silo and still keeping things fresh, right? We haven't seen Fallen really fighting Yard in, in that way. He's been towards blue boxes, watching the cross back in heaven, supporting Ramp when Naf drops lower. And so to see him start watching that silo peak is going to catch Fnatic by surprise. That's all smoke. Stewie drops the bomb. Oh, oh my, oh Crims. my, Crims. Oh. Yeah, it will get blown out eventually. Bomb goes closer as well. Again, yeah. In his dying breath, he's made it even harder for Fnatic somehow. Stewie still keeping these fights up. And even though he's traded out, it's still a huge four on two. And with so low HP on Jaquino, you might be hard pressed to find anything here if you're Fnatic. Alex going back outside, but with so many players still standing for Liquid, this is something they are considering. Smoke on the bomb at least takes attention away from the outside wrap. Elise had just checked this moments ago. And so now Alex has a little more room and maybe a free kill on to Fallen. Yeah, he is knocked out. Alige playing close at the T vent is really stuck and trapped oh. out on an island here. Alex making it all happen from this main lurk. Oh no. Grim looking to hold the line. This guy's always a problem over in A. What? They lose Jaquino and Grim's going to double up. They look so confused yeah, at what, what happened even happened. There? The shot sails past Alex and hits Jaquino accidentally right behind him in the door. I think he thought maybe there was an enemy there, right? It, you hear the, you know, that's just your brain reacting. You throw it in on an eco. We'll see if Liquid feel the same. They start with two there. They certainly do. Elise is helping out as Naf, oh, sorry, he drops lower. Naf drops, Elise drops lower and Naf stays ramp rather. And Elise is already here to stop the vent play. Bye bye, Alex. Not today. Four up for Fnatic and they throw the smokes. Yeah, Fallen's going to get nullified by those trying to outposition them. But you still got a Liege waiting in the wings down on B. And we might even see a bit of an earlier rotation, especially when a Liege gets this info. Dropping a nade, but he's got to get ready for the fight. Takes the second man out of the round for his troubles. And now the rotation's coming towards B. It's only Nafly here, joined by Fallen. Still Team Liquid keeping bodies over towards this upper site. Stewie is starting to work this late secret control as well. And that's at okay. least going to keep them trapped in. Messi's Deagle finds Fallen, but the bomb plant could get denied right now by Nafly. He won't manage it instead. Keeping it quiet up on the rafters. Couldn't see that bomb was going down. Messi set up in window and is yet to be spotted by anyone. Okay. That Deagle rings out with a second. Now he is losing teammates in the sight, but Messi... Trying to play the long game, trying to play the bomb Ooh. game. Tag up for Jaquino. 
But now they're on the bomb, they're sticking it, he's got a swing, that gets them off, Messi with a third, and just Nafly left to beat, he tries to fake him out, oh. and there's Naf to find the kill, just enough time left for the defuse, and Team Liquid keep this looking good at 11 to 1. Man, what more can Messi do in some of these rounds, it's actually obscene, like, he won the Fallen as the, the second rotate to be on the orb, right, he was the guy who even won Fnatic there, their only round by doing the same with the AK, look at that shot, and then the glass kill and still finds a third here onto Stewie and then Naf, you know, he just called his bluff at that point. Naf taps it, fakes it out and swings. Messi knows he has to go. If it's a stick, he loses the round. Yeah, you know, nice try from his team. They were trapped in a single door. It's a very hard spot to hold on to with a pistol in a post part. A good cover for Stewie to get there. The lead goes up and over and drops Roland down to nine, but it's Alex with a revenge from Silo. Oh, but Naf is tired of waiting around. He's seen oh. a Crims. But it's actually the kill given over to Fnatic. Okay. As Team Liquid attempted to dig themselves out of this hole, they've only ended up deeper in it. You have to win this if you're Fnatic. You app, there's no excuse. You've got to win this five on three. Well, this game is as good as done. More re-aggression fallen this time. There's the trade to Alex, better late than never. And now he's hungry for more, playing around this squeaky door. Oh! Oh, that shot misses, you don't get a second chance at those. Stewie will deal with the main rack. Grim's waiting back in default. This is his bread, this is his butter, this is everything for Grim. And he needed something out of it, but instead he's brushed aside by Mezzi on the entry. And so now this should be a done deal. Because of all these rounds recently coming down to these tight clutches, these very, very close, you know, 1v1s, only a man surviving a lot of the time for Liquid, their money is in a really rough spot. So if Stewie does attempt this, if he does die, they've got nothing coming with them into the next round. I think he wants yeah, to get the orb, that's all he's after. But will they let him get away with it? This is <laughs> a bit of a rough spot to be in for Stu. He will get past. And that's it. He's out of there with the AWP. That was all he wanted to get out of the round. It's Fnatic up onto a second, trying for four at the end of the half. Yeah, Fnatic at that point just trying not to throw the round, right? They're trying not to give him away back in. Chiquita gets his one shot made by Stewie's jiggle, and then he just gives it up. Knows he has the cross, tells his team not to face, and that's a lock-in round for Fnatic. You get a bit worried when Fallen not only takes out Alex in the hut, but then almost drops Mezzi in door. If he gets two there, even with a trade. Woo, suddenly you're you're cooking if you're liquid in that what was that three on five. But Fnatic, they've crafted that path, as you said. The money broke. What you gotta get rid of is this weird, wacky AWP force. And then you're on to four, uh, potentially, in this half. Fast outside, Leech. He's always been here. Never not. Chiquino is ready, and he... Oh, he doesn't see falling up above, but he's getting flanked from behind. Stewie's in the smoke. His second home right now. Waiting, praying that they give him a little bit more. Not to know what they're up against, and Chiquino's dropped the orb. Where's Stewie gotten to, he wonders. That's oh, oh it doesn't on matter. The swing. Naf is gone with that AWP pickup. And so it's all left to little Grimothy. One on four, and Giacchino lighting this round up with the orb would be content with another. And there it is. Four nice kills round. from the guy. And that AWP starts to look good for the T side. On their way to finding this four round half they were hoping for. Yeah, well, well hoping yeah. for, yeah. Hoping for well, maybe. Once they were 11, one yeah. they were hoping That's what for they were 11 hoping for the yeah. 11. They probably yeah. weren't coming into it going, come on, guys, four rounds. It's 2013 all over again. We'll be fine. That's a winning game right there. Nope. But, you know, you've got to make do with what you've got. Four is your best bet. And Fnatic, yeah, they should be on to it. This is where Liquid, you know, these last two rounds, they face all outside. They know they can go a bit loosey-goosey. They know they've got nothing to lose. This is the same. You can just throw yourself into the lobby. You can get up in Fnatic's business if you want. Yeah, I, I hope that Brolin can take this as a confidence-boosting round if there ever was a time, right? Because he's looking a bit out of it right now. Haven't really yet to say his name at all. Uh, and that's a problem. There's this little double ramp push. It's very weird. Uh oh. Two AKs versus two Deagles. Who wins? The Deagles <laughs> win. Of course they do. Oh dear. And that's the bomb as well. That could be the entire round stolen away yeah. on the back of this lobby push. Oh my goodness. Fnatic are getting split up as well. Giacchino left outside, but with lobby taken, you've got to regain previously owned ground. You don't know how deep Team Liquid are. Grim, he's seen a shadow, gets away with some damage, but it's going to take more than that to deal with Mezzi. 
Flashing Brolin in. Jaquinho dead out in the yard. And so now all their attention is on the bomb in lobby. Look at this Team oh. Liquid with everyone on it. This double setup as well. Stewie trying to stay behind Fallen. Fallen wants the frag. It's going to come to him. Brolin, nice headshot, but he's not ready for the man on the right side. And even if he is, Nav swings with him. They close with these, with the Eagles. It's 12 and half. If they want to even make it competitive, they're going to need this pistol round to even start the job. Yeah, someone give Fnatic a shovel. They need to dig deep right now. Liquid just need to hold on, not bottle the lead. Never been done before. And they are going to go quick into this A site. Stewie tapped by Prims, and he needs more on the crossing players. He can't stop a leech. Mezzi peeks out wide, but it's Grip to grab him from the bomb site. And Alex fill, uh, files out heaven to find a double. It's only fallen left up, no armor in trouble. And even though he gets the trade, it's Brolin. Where's he gotten to? Never seen, never spotted. Kit smoke available. Brolin looks for the kill. And with him going wide, he might just catch it. Oh, oh. no, he saw Fallen. And now Fallen knows as well. Not a helpful bomb spot no, for Fallen either. No, that bomb either. is in the worst place. But luckily enough, Brolin has left heaven. Now, Fallen won't know this, but eventually, right, he has to get the bomb or lose the round. So <laughs> he's going to get a path to it. And he started to read the main oh. play ahead of time. I called Fallen, you know, king of the anti-clutch earlier. The guy who always puts a stop to you losing these 1vx rounds. Oh. And somehow he's done it again. And three points to health, Brolin. If he wasn't in his head to begin with, he's going to be now. You take a look at that one after the fact. You see that you got Fallen down to uh, three HP. And that should have been your round. But the professor's stolen it away from you. And just like that, Team Liquid really up in the lead now. Oh, a little wink from Paul, and he's feeling good. Nothing can go wrong for Liquid. This is an excellent Liquid out of the gate, not just dominating the first half, but now starting the second with clutches. Oh, my goodness. Poor Brolin. Could have hit the leg shot in the hut. An opportunity gone and one you've got to forget about immediately. Come in with a force buy and come in with the win. Elige has an MP5 SD. Brolin's moving up secret. Okay. Goal, spam, and oh no, two out of three. Elige wins that one out. It feels like nothing can connect for Brolin. He's in a 64 tick server. Everyone else is in 128. Smoke outside to cut off Chiquinho and has done a great job at that towards his L position. Can't see much with the scout. There's another one in the hands of Cribs trying to provide a bit of attention, draw them away. Are they still ready for Chiquinho back in spawn? Climbing up, that's exactly what Chiquinho wants. Yeah, and you know, you've just seen Crimson's scout here, so I don't think you're going to even consider the presence of a CT spawn scout. They see it and they immediately switch game plans. They go, well, look, let's not bother fighting him just yet. We know we got him trapped back in CT. There's not much he can do from here, but maybe they're overestimating oh, how much help. respect he was going to get given. So much damage off these scouts, man. Four players, 30 or oh, lower. Dude, this, this There's he finish the entire round, but he oh. hits the one player with health. Nap down to 20. Crims will finish it, but it doesn't matter. Look it means this. nothing. If he shot just anyone else, it would be one hit. Instead, it's none. And Liquid live on the edge of death. 14 to 3. Someone called the coroner. Yeah, man. I, this is so... That is such a devastating round, man. As you say, everyone else was low. The one guy with health is the yeah. one that then is also tagged down Because he's going for body shots because his entire team going, Jackie is going, man, I hit like three guys with a scout. Watch out. And you're just hoping, you're just praying. That might be all you got. Oh. Oh, oh my Brolin. God. What one HP, what's, what's going on? on? Dude, Brolin is cursed. <laughs> I can't bear myself to look. I can't bring myself to do it. Crim's gonna try and set up here. Fallen one HP, must be dead, must be dead. There's one at least. Naf trades it out. Liquid aren't worried. But they don't care. There's a reason that Fallen led the charge into battle there. He's got full faith in the team. He oh. set them up for the plant. Alex is wiped clean. And for Messi and Chiquinho, you don't want to have to admit defeat here, but saving this MP9 and Scout is the only option you've got. This I mean, is the bulk of the weaponry you're going to bring with you up against 15. Fnatic will physically not play a rifle round in the CT side, Harry. They double forced. You know, it's not like they even made the previous round close. They are just, you know, trying to keep them in it. 
not wanting to buy up fall against 15-3 and try and pull a flawless comeback. They wanted to at least give themselves breathing room. But absolutely slapped out of the server. And Brolin, I just, you know, I don't want to draw more attention to the elephant in the room, but how are some of these kills not coming through? This is not Brolin's day. This is not Brolin's game. And he's going to have to reset for dust because it is not far from that second map. This is Fnatic's best buy. And I say that with air quotes. Triple Famas, MP9 Scout. Got some utility, but Liquid. All the talk of the town. Yeah, and you know, I don't even think it's really fair to like be ragging on Fnatic. This is uh, this is just a very, very determined looking liquid that are trying to come in yeah. with a statement victory to open up what they're envisioning to be a deep playoff run, right? Yeah, and what a statement that is. It's how they started the groups, Harry. They absolutely shredded NIP, who still made it to the playoffs. And now liquid are out for more blood. Yeah, well, Grim's dead right away this time around, and Alex is going to keep it in a three-on-three. -three. Doing what he can uh -oh. is nothing to Elysia's MP5. Chiquinho will ring out with one from heaven, but him and Brolin here together. They try to swing. They try to play off the back of each other. Brolin, 1v1. It's Elysia to beat, and he's out of there. Down through the vents, he makes out like a bandit, keeping this MP5 <laughs> over the AK, a sign of confidence, perhaps. Definitely had chances to grab a gun in amidst the chaos. A sign of madness, maybe. But it might actually do him some favors here. You can be very light on your feet with this. Brolin does have smoke kit for the defuse as well. So if he really starts to run out of options, he's always got that as a fallback plan. This is his chance to put a round on the board for Fnatic. Oh, Either yeah. that or his bad luck is set to continue. And with Elise wrapping into window, Brolin has taken a lot of time clearing out this bomb site. He's running out of it now. Oh, Doesn't no. have a choice. Smoke's gone door, but the bomb's not plotted nice. for it. He still wins the fight. And there's just enough time left to grab this defuse. Brolin gets Fnatic to four rounds at least. Oh yeah, Elise hears that smoke and he is just expecting it to be on the bomb, bomb right? That's exactly what you would uh, you would think. Brolin's up towards the door for a second. You think that's going to let him down, but just a, a slight confidence boosting 1v2 clutch to come through for Brolin. Keeping Fnatic in this game, even for a round longer. Nice try for Elige, but not meant to be. Fnatic need a flawless game now on the CT side. They're going to have a little bit more to work with, at least more than the previous. Three M4s and a FAMAS. But Liquid have so much room to work with. Smokes outside, immediately setting a precedent into the first gun round. Uh, Alex is already down the vent. Kino can con that he can see nothing. And they could even sneak into main with this smoke. He's got to be aware of that as well. Could always be the play here for Liquid. They've got a lobby lurker in NAF. Walking very close to the smoke, but just to try and get down to B. No real info to work with for Fnatic other than smokes are down. It's either no one or everyone. And so you can't afford to gamble, stack your entire team down lower. Alex is there with no utility. He will be the early warning system. Yeah, and being real, you kind of need Alex to go one for one at a worst case scenario, right? If he dies getting nothing done, getting pincered on this B push, and you fall into a four on five retake, especially with this NAF lurk, you know, still yet to really spring into action, you're, you're in for a bad time. You're in for a rough old time. So Alex, there's going to be a lot of attention on you here right now. He's up on top of the silo. He's called for some support. Brolin is in a ramp, and Alex opens up with the first. One for one is what oh. was needed, but suddenly Fallen and Naf come through with kills each. Bomb now down. Crimson Mezzi left up for the retake. And Naf still out on a lamb all alone. It skips over a temporary two on three, but it's up against 15. You're running out of time. You still haven't even begun to get the info as to where Team Liquid are. And even then, you've got to thin the herd. It's not going to happen. Elige and Fallen are going to lock in this.